LoopCloud has a robust set of editing tools which you may be used to and will find useful. LoopCloud has a number of built-in editing tools to help you manipulate loops and sounds right inside of the application before export. You can find them in the tool section down here in the edit window. If you don't see the edit window, for example, when the collapsed view is on, just click edit and here we go, tools. If I click this tool, we can see the different tools at our disposal. If I hover over that tool, not only will I see a brief description of what the tool does, but I'll also see the available shortcuts to get to that tool and use it. So I have the pointer tool here. This works just like in most other programs. It's a multi-function tool that allows you to drag, edit, and split regions. Double-click the region to mute it, hold Alt to split a region. So really, the pointer, when used correctly, actually combines the mute and the split tool. Let's try it out. If I hold Alt on my keyboard, you'll see that I hot swap to the split tool. And if I double click this region, it will be muted. Double click again to turn it back on. If I come back into tools, we can get to the split tool here. The slip tool will move the audio waveform inside of the clip we have. Reverse tool is a one click to reverse all the audio in any clip that you have. And a click to go bring it back. The pitch tool will allow you to pitch different clips inside of your track differently. While I'm on drums here, this wouldn't be very useful, but obviously if I have melodic content or even one shots, I can easily build some sort of melody right inside of the track. And then the draw tool will essentially allow you to click and drag any sort of clip length inside of the track. This will all be set to the grid, so if I zoom in, I can make smaller adjustments. Now on the note of shortcuts, as an example, I use editing software, so I'm used to C being my split tool. I don't know if that's the default, but it doesn't really matter. All you need to do if you wanna change yours, come into preferences, come over to keyboard shortcuts, and change whichever you want. You'll see a list of everything that is available to have a shortcut. You just click plus and then add your key combination and it will be logged and you'll be able to use it in the future. If you go kind of crazy and you wanna go back, you can just hit reset to default and start again. And in fact, you can customize anything that already has a shortcut and see what can have a shortcut inside of the preferences in LoopCloud.